Now, many of you who've been following me or, you know, have been on my streams, my daily live stream show on Rumble from 12 to 2, uh, or you've seen my standalone videos, you know that I've kind of gone from like an Elon Musk fanboy to being more critical of him. And I think that for the most part, this is not decisions that he's made with Twitter. It's not decisions that he's made with, uh, I'm sorry, with uh, Tesla or SpaceX, even though I've been critical of Starlink. It's really his decision making on Twitter. And it's not like exactly necessarily, oh, he added this feature, got rid of this feature. I don't like that. It's just been that he lied. He he lied about he lied about having it support free speech. He went out and hired literally a WEF shill to run his company. This is why a lot of people think that Elon's, you know, controlled. Every, you know, Elon will say something based and true and cool and then he'll go do something totally stupid. Uh, for example, like allow continued shadow bans and censorship on Twitter and then tweet out that he's not doing that to get, you know, butthurt that Russell Brand supported Rumble instead of Twitter and having a little melty about it. These are not good looks for him. And his new CEO, Linda Yaccarino, just had an absolute disaster of an interview at Code Conference where she seemed undermined by Elon Musk and couldn't, precise, couldn't state precise user numbers or what users will pay. And also what's interesting is Twitter slash X is losing daily active users. CEO Cinda, Linda Yaccarino has now confirmed it which seems to fly in direct contradiction to Elon saying, oh, it's, Twitter has an all-time high number of users. I can tell you as somebody who, um, who uses Twitter slash X to, you know, to talk to my viewers, I'm more and more interested in just doing it on locals now. Um, you know, I just, Twitter has been completely ruined by monetization, in my opinion. Um, I, I'm thinking about just unfollowing everybody and starting fresh because it's like every stupid post is like, oh, would you ride a roller coaster with Elon Musk? What do you think down below? Or here's a big, beautiful, busty woman. She shows up on your date and she's carrying. What do you do? Like, I just can't. Um, I can't with this. Every major Twitter account that used to actually be interesting is now just desperate for cash and um, selling out all credibility for a couple hundred bucks a month. Sin, uh, Yaccarino uh, is off to a tough start as she appeared to fumble questions about the platform and seemed undermined by Elon Musk while on stage at Code Conference in California. Formerly at NBC Universal, advertising executive Yaccarino was appointed in May to one of the toughest CEO jobs right now, reporting to Elon Musk. The interview with CNBC's Julia Borston was an opportunity for Yaccarino to set out her vision for X, which has had a difficult year under Musk's ownership while advertisers, with advertisers fleeing the platform, a questionable rebrand, and multiple tech and safety issues. What actually followed was the unfurling of a CEO who appeared not to have a full handle on the company. At times, the interview was awkward and tense. Here's one bizarre exchange. When Musk was Musk serious about charging all users a fee to use X, Borston asked. Musk announced the plans in a live stream on September 18th. The Acarino paused for a couple of seconds, appeared puzzled, then asked Borston to repeat her question, which she did. The executive replied, did he say we were doing it moving towards specifically that or that he was thinking about it? He said that's the plan, said Borston. Did he consult you before even announcing that? We talk about everything, Yaccarino said, while failing to answer that question. Elsewhere, Yaccarino claimed that 90% of the top 100 advertisers who fled the platform after Musk's takeover have returned in the last 12 weeks alone. And that user time since June was up, she said that the firm was close to turning a profit, which is actually amazing. Um, you know, I, I would honestly say that, like, if, if he got the company profitable in this short amount of time, that's, I mean, that's, that's miraculous. Borson noted that external analysis from data companies such as Aptopia suggests otherwise, though, and blue chip brands, including Coca-Cola, ATT, and others have cut ad spend on Twitter by up to 100% in the first half of 2023. 
Insiders Laura O'Reilly and Kylie Hayes reported in August citing data from Media Radar, others chopped ad spend up to 30 to 70%. Asked about X's daily active user numbers, Yakarino appeared to respond only in estimates. According to The Verge and The Wall Street Journal, at one point, she said X now has 200 to 250 million active daily users, something like that, Yakarino said. Elsewhere, she claimed that it was 540 million active users. Audience members, including Ben Bergman, highlighted the occasionally bizarre tone of the exec's other's response on serious topics such as platform safety. Everybody deserves to speak their opinion, li opinion Linda X says after being asked about the ADL complaints about anti-Semitism. She then looks at her watch and says she has to catch a flight. You literally can't make this up. The interview is perhaps unlikely to challenge perceptions that Yaccarino is CEO in name only, something Borson raised, noting that X's product team reports to Musk much in the same way Meta's product team reports to Zuck. He runs technology. He leads a team of exceptionally talented engineers, responded Yaccarino. I don't care what the structure is at Meta. Who wouldn't want Elon sitting by their side running product? Her response drew laughter, and insiders Bergman tweeted, a few audience members raised their hands. Rounding up the litany of missteps was Yaccarino's response to the guests who had directly preceded her on stage. Joel Roth, the former head of Trust and Safety at Twitter, who was publicly ridiculed by Musk. Roth was billed as a surprise guest, and audience members tweeted his appearance appeared to catch Yaccarino off guard. Asked to respond to Roth's criticism of the platform, specifically his claim that hate speech has worsened on X, Yaccarino said, Yol and I don't know each other. He doesn't know me. I don't know him. I work at X. He worked at Twitter. A Code Conference co-founder and veteran journalist Kara Swisher said Yaccarino had known Roth would appear and when, and when, no one was sandbagged. I mean, it's, it's not great. Twitter X is losing daily, daily active users. Cindy, CEO Linda Yaccarino confirms it. By now you've heard of Elon Musk's handpicked CEO for X, Linda Yaccarino, in her disastrous interview with CNBC's Julia Borston at Vox Media's Code 2023. However, somewhat overlooked, amid some of the more viral moments of the discussion, Yaccarino dropped some more previously unknown facts that don't exactly paint a rosy picture for the company. Speaking of Vox's Media Code 2023, earlier this week, X's Linda Yaccarino shared that the company currently had 225 million daily active users, a decline in tens of millions, or 11.6% of users from just before when Musk acquired the company. What's interesting is, you know, to be totally honest, I think they just dipped out completely. Like, I think they must have just dipped completely because they didn't go to threads. That app's dead. So I think they just quit. Following the conference, X revised its daily active user count to 245 million daily active users, according to the information, before specifically saying that X had 225 million active users. Yaccarino previously cited 200 to 250 million. Even X's revised numbers of 245 million would still see X lose millions, around 3.7%, of daily active users from before Musk's acquisition. Well, I, that I would buy, you know, three or four million. That I mean, that's something that I would probably buy. You know, I don't, I don't really know exactly what's going down um, at at Twitter, but it sure would be nice to like have some consistency in their decision making and have an actual commitment to free speech. You see, in fact, daily active users are even down from the numbers that Musk shared last year when he was in charge. According to the aforementioned Musk tweet, Twitter had 259.4 million, 259.4 million users at that time. That means X has shed nearly 15 million users or 5.6%. Twitter first started sharing this metric when the company referred to as monetizable daily active users, or MDAO, years before Musk even planned to buy the company. Twitter's daily active users were reliably more favorable for the company than its other metrics when it shared quarterly reports for investors and shareholders. Uh, you know, ultimately, you know, this whole interview, X CEO says platform will be profitable by early 2024, but Dodge's question about a monthly fee 
I think the monthly fee thing would be absolutely moronic um, unless there is a a much larger version or there's a much larger uptake in uh, a much larger uptake in Twitter blue than I know, but I don't think so. I think it's a pretty small percent. Um, the fact that they Yacarino even showed up to speak at this is weird to me. You pretty much know you're in the in um, enemy territory there the entire time. So it'll be interesting to see. I think the time is now probably for Elon to fire the CEO. I think that if he really wants to prove that he cares about free speech and protecting it, then you really can't be involved with Yacarino. And you can't be desperate for advertisers either. You can't be desperate to you know, be seeking advertisers constantly either. Because they're the ones that are the ones that actually institute these levels of censorship.